Howdy y'all folks and welcome to the Dead Pit Pit Stop from deadpit.com. I'm the Creepy Kentuckian. And I'm Uncle Bill. And you know something, Uncle Bill, throughout the years doing the show, we've seen a variety when it comes to horror films, haven't we? We sure as hell have. Stuff like, you know, the Asian horror films, everybody's seen that. We want... oh. We've seen stuff from New Zealand. Aye, good night! <laughs> yeah. We've seen stuff from China, even. Same thing. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Uh, I ain't gonna don't put your milk in paper bag. Uh, but now we have something by way of Synapse Films from Belgium. Got a movie called Lucker the Necrophagist, directed by Johan van van der Hoogen. From the van van der Hoogen family of directors, of course. Indeed. And this was a movie that was seemingly lost for many years because the original producer of the film actually burned all the remaining prints and the original negatives that were made. I wonder why he did that. I can't possibly imagine it had anything to do with the subject matter of the film. He wanted to burn shitheads. Why? Well, he succeeded. So here's what happened. Don May Jr., in his infinite wisdom, comes back and decides he's going to string a film together of like a director's cut using old VHS tapes that the director owns, and he's going to put them all together to form one big mass conglomeration of a VHS tape and call it the director's cut and put it out from Synapse Films so people who like necrophilia can enjoy the story of John Lucker, who basically rapes, kills women, puts them in a bed for like four months, and comes back and smacks him in the crotch. Oh, that's what. But he does do all that in this movie. And the movie itself, not very good, as is a lot of lost films. There's a reason they're lost, usually, is that they're not really that good. But there's some actual scenes in the movie that I think are worthwhile to people, especially if you like stuff like Necromantic. Yeah, if you're a fan of the Necromancy or Necromantic or... Uh what are some of the other ones? There's all Necromaniac. Kinds of, yeah, Necromaniac the, or Schizophrenic 2, The Whore Mangler, or films like that. Then you then probably Lucker is for you. love this film. You are a sick motherfucker if you want to watch Lucker. That should be the slogan on it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Synapse are synonymous for doing these DVDs like this. I mean, just stuff that definitely not too many other studios would want to tackle, especially a subject. No, like this, this movie's not going to show up at your local Walmart or Dollar Store or Family Dollar. Or You're not going to see it on the Disney Channel no, either. it won't be a Maloney's either. It's just, it's a <laughs> film. Maloney's. It's a film that, it's it's pretty vile. And it's not really graphically violent or anything. It's just some of the stuff that goes on in it is nasty. That's the best way yeah. I can describe it. It's just a, a, a film about a guy who likes to kill women and then leave them laying around, and then go back and rape their corpses. And if you're into that type of thing, yes. God bless you, enjoy it. It's going to be like the Citizen Kane, a corpse raping movie. So the director's cut, Luck of the Necrophagist, actually has the original version of the movie uh, on video. So you can check out the full version with English and Dutch subtitles on there as mm -hmm. well. And there's a little documentary on the making of the film. So check all that out. Be sure to check us out. We're over from Dead Pit. Dot com.